What's up folks, V Pedal Dude here, and as you can see, this is a review of a random grab bag, specifically a three pounder from Jameco. Now, because there's spurgs on the internet, I have to let everyone know and take time out of your day to inform you that I am not funded in any way by Jameco. Alright, here we go. Oh guys, guess what came? If you read the title, you know. So give me a second, let me readjust the phone oh, cover that up you don't want to know where i live anyways all right guys okay and this is what three pounds of miscellaneous electronics looks like i'm gonna pop it open i'm gonna clean up the bench i'm gonna lay it all out and we're gonna see what 30 bucks in total will get you in miscellaneous components looking close i think i might have not have done so well but who knows Let's calculate it up. Okay. So, let's get started. Got $30 of quote-unquote loose or miscellaneous electronics. Let's see where that looks good in the video. All right. Now, you've probably seen these grab bag kind of things and wondered, is it worth the money? You know, looking really close to this, I'm gonna say no, because there is some real garbage looking stuff in here. But anyways, let's kind of, oh, and there's a, already like, the gloves are funky. I, I cut, pulled this out, and yuck. Anyways, from Jamco, if you guys are interested. So, let's cut this bad boy open, let's take another look, yeah. Let's see what $30 worth of fucking garbage is gonna get us. Okay, rocker switch, kind of cool. Let's see. Precision resistor, maybe? Okay. All right, we'll go silent now. We're going to go fast. Okay, that took me about 15 minutes or so to break all of this apart. And my final conclusion on this is it's all garbage. Almost none of it has any particular value. Now, there are a few standout items that are put on gloves because God knows what's on this stuff. But anyways, it's a couple standout items amongst the utter... Crap, like this is, if, if you were thinking you were going to get some kind of cool deal and build a whole bunch of little stuff and have like reserve parts, no, this is, this is, this is what $30 worth of miscellaneous garbage looks like. So, let's see, things that stood out. So, useful things. Got a couple of these nice looking quarter inch connectors, a few pots. An absolute ton of eighth inch plugs. Let's see what else. Um, all of the ICs are bent in some way. And they're all. Who knows what these things are? I'm gonna look them up. There might be. A... I know that these. I've seen. Those might be something valuable, or they might be garbage. Who knows? Got LEDs until. The cows come home. And nothing special. Almost no capacitors. Got a couple of Elnas in there, though. Pretty neat. 
not worth $30. Got tons of male connectors, but no female connectors. Let's see what else. Got giant collection of high value resistors. I'm, I will never use these. Crystals. Tons of crystals. Are you, are you building a computer from the 70s? I can help you out. We got tons of crystals here. And then a bunch of junk. So what I'm going to do is, over here, I'm going to weigh up all of the junk. Let's get that. Let's see. Stuff that has, that was absolute garbage. So let's see. There was, one of the neat things that was in there was, ah! Stepping on things without shoes. Um, where, where's the camera at? Got a whole bag of miscellaneous transistors. There's a couple in there with gold leads. Prob not worth $30. And I have to give them all a home. Not terribly excited about that. Got a fan. Ooh. Something that took up too much weight. I got... A lock. So we're gonna put that in there. Let's see. Let's start adding things up. That's garbage. BSME things. This might be totally dangerous. So I know that in some equipment that have radioactive output they have a metal slug in them that's a reference for radioactivity. And this might be a giant slug of some kind of radioactive metal. Whatever it is, I'm throwing it away. That's... I don't need whatever that is. Just someone. All these super high value resistors that I will never ever use, ever. I think that's what they are. Let's test one. See what it is. Oh, so many parts on the floor too. Yeah. Ah! Happy thoughts. All right, here we go. Oh, they're capacitors. Huh. That is a capacitor, and it is 470 picofarads. Hmm. Maybe I might save some of those. What are they? Are they... I'm going to have to look those up. Maybe, maybe this is a huge score and these are all really precision capacitors. Doubt it. Doesn't, just because it's precision doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sound good on a guitar pedal. But, as you've seen before it went out, I would say about a pound of the three pounds was absolute garbage. Now I am going to go back in and probably take an eighth of that off to take these bizarre these weird capacitors who knows what these things are let's see if i can get on the camera you guys can tell me zoom zoom bud zoom nope can't auto correct that's too bad of the phone anyways so if you were curious and you thought hey i'm gonna buy one of those grab bag things and i'm gonna score and Get a bunch of really cool components out of it and be able to build a million pedals. Your answer would be no. But maybe as a, uh, a goof, I might attempt to build a pedal with this. I got a couple ICs in here. Resistor network. I don't know. I haven't seen any builds that use a resistor network. We'll throw in this one single fancy capacitor. Maybe we'll put the fan in there. Ooh. We'll definitely use some of these transistors. And there you go, folks. That is what $30 worth of miscellaneous parts looks like. Enjoy.